Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my glow babies. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, magical day. Before we jump in, I just wanna say that today is a very special day for me because um, as you know, earlier this year, I lost my little brother and uh, today his grave is finally ready. Mikai was cremated and today we can finally bury his ashes, um, which to us as a family, um, is pretty uh, big moment. And I just wanted to say that, you know, enjoy life to the fullest. And um, say something nice to somebody around you today because people need it. Um, so today, I actually wanted to sit down in my studio and get super, super creative. And when I came across this work by Orlena Nicole, this right here, it absolutely blew my mind. Like this right here is art. For anyone, anyone out there saying that makeup is an art, I present to you makeup art. So Arlena was inspired by one of my favorite artists on Instagram, Cakeface RJ, and she did this one right here. So this is more like with a paint roller instead of a spray. You know, makeup is such a form of art and there are some super, super talented people out there that need a shout out. So I'm shouting out Cakeface RJ and Orlena Nicole because I'm recreating their look today and getting creative and sort of showing you you know, beauty in a can, and hopefully it ends up looking good because this looks super challenging. So without any further ado, if you're in the mood to sit down and get creative with me, then let's do it. Alrighty, so when I look at the original, I see that this portion of my face should be normal. So let's go in with primer and foundation. For primer today, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Primer. And spreading it mostly, you know, on the actual like makeup-y side. <laughs> For foundation, I'm going in with a brand new one today. This one is by Bourgeois. This is called the Healthy Mix Up to 16 Hour Wear in the color, hello. Can I get a color, please? What's the color? Number 51. And I'm just gonna dab this on the makeup -y side. You know, you kinda wanna make it a little bit wider and bigger than you have in mind because we can always make it smaller, but it's harder to make it bigger. I would sort of do like a diagonal side. So make sure you get the temples, get the forehead. Don't go all the way towards the back of the cheek, but like get most of it. You know what's so funny? Back during Halloween, week, I did my little mask video, the Phantom of the Makeup Mask. And one comment I vividly remember is, Oh my God, leave it up to Nikki Tutorials to always try and do only half of her face <laughs> for her videos. And I'm like, you're onto something here. You know power of makeup? Half. The mask? Half. This one? Half. <laughs> for concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fairest. And of course, I'm setting that using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in 05. Alrighty, I quickly went ahead and did my brow, I wanted to say brows, but I only did one, did my brow off camera, and now it's time to create any eye look that you like. I'm going for something colorful because I feel like that's gonna make the contrast even bigger compared to like the 2D, very flat white and black sort of non-beauty sprayed side. The more color, the more your point is getting across, but please do any eye look that you like. I'm of course priming. I'm starting off by placing a vampy purpley red into my crease. And I'm first just gonna stamp that color on to get the pigment going and we'll focus on blending after. And I know right now it looks super, super intimidating by 
having such a harsh edge, but trust me when I say it will all blend out in the end. Okay, once you have that color stamped on, you want to take the brush and place it right against that harsh edge, that harsh line, and start doing very miniature soft circular motions. And by magic, it will just start blurring itself out. And you don't have to use a lot of pressure on the brush at all. All you're doing is soft, delicate, circular motions. And I feel like the softer the pressure on the brush against the skin is, the better the blending. Okay, now I'm dipping this fine blending brush. This is a Cosette S185 brush, and I'm taking the side of it, dipping it into a hot, bright pink, and sort of scratching it above. Okay, then I think I'm adding a little bit of darkness to the outer corner using a dark purple. Time to cut the lid. <laughs> From the Sosu and Kaylee Urban Bible palette, I'm now taking this purpley color right here called Myth and placing that onto mostly the center of the lid and then blending out. I'm taking the Peaches Pigment in Mermaids for the inner corner thingy. For the lower lash line, I'm taking an, an Aqua Minty Blue and stamping that on. Then taking the Deep Purple again placing it on the outer corner. And on that inner corner, let's add a pop of yellow. Okay, time to pop on some lashes and we'll get creative after. Okay, now it's important to finish off what we started. Now, of course, because this is our sprayed on beauty side, you wanna complete it. So with bronzer, highlighter, lips, all that jazz. So first I'm gonna bronze parts of this using my Jouer Bronzing Duo. Now using a peachy bright blush to bring some life back into half of my face. And then now let's go crazy with the highlight. And then like I said, I feel like using a lot of colors on the actual makeup part is gonna make that contrast even bigger. So on the lips, I'm going in with a crazy color. This one is by Fenty Beauty. This is called Saucy. And this is one of my favorite oranges and I'm putting that on the lips. And then deepening the edges. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. It's like an ombre lip. Ooh, I like. And yes, I'm also very aware that it looks like I came straight out of the 80s. Um, but I feel like once everything ties in together, it's gonna look good. Okay, time to block this brow off camera and then we can go in with the white. All right, now it's time to paint the face white and I'll be doing so using a Mayron Paradise palette. These are water activated face paints. And of course I'm taking <laughs> A white, duh. And using fluffier brushes, I'm sort of gonna scribble in the, the edges to already make it look sort of like a spray. I'll go in later with more detailed steps to make it actually look like spattered on sprays. Um, but it's nice to have like that base going. So I'm taking big blending brushes to sort of like
So I think it's good to have those edges in first. Now we can paint the rest of it white and then we'll focus on detailing and perfecting after. Then once I have that water activated paint on, I'm following up using a cream white to double the opacity. And then setting everything using a white shadow. All right, time to make the magic happen. Time to add the black lines. Let's start with the one on the cheek. Then I'm outlining the top and the bottom of the brow. Mm -hmm. Now the little swoop in the crease. Then a line under. And then now to create more paint spray dots on the line of makeup, I'm taking a sponge like this. This is like a blood spatter sponge and I'm grabbing some white and also some foundation color and just mixing it up. I'm quickly gonna do my neck off camera and I'll be right back. And that guys concludes this spray on beauty, optical illusion makeup look inspired by these lovely creative artists on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed. Without any further ado, let's go on to today's Dutch word of the day. So the Dutch word of the day in the last video, of course, was for box and that was dose. And a special common shout out goes to X Just Mia X. And she said, Nikki must have had to think out of the dose for this video. I love it. And for today's Dutch word of the day, we're gonna be focusing on paint. So let's go. Verf, v, erf. Verf? So this one might be a little bit more difficult. So you really want to start off with that v, v, and then sort of do like a pirate's r, and then f, verf. <laughs> As always, if you want to be featured in my next video, don't forget to leave a comment down below using the Dutch word of the day, verf, or leave a video response on Instagram under the hashtag Dutch word of the day, and you might see your face pop up in my next video. I want to thank you so, so, so much for watching this creative video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for always supporting me and always believing in me. And don't forget to say something nice to someone around you today to make them feel better. And let's just all be a little bit nicer for each other. I wanna thank you so much. I love you and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.